A Pennsylvania woman is charged with helping her 93-year-old father commit suicide. And her case is putting the issue of aid and dying laws back into the national spotlight. Our legal guys are back. Avery Friedman in Cleveland and Richard Herman in Las Vegas. All right, guys, first of all, let's lay out the basic facts of this case. 57-year-old Barbara Mancini was helping to care for her terminally ill father at his home in central Pennsylvania. Prosecutors say she handed her dad, Joe Yorshaw, a vial of morphine, which doctors had prescribed for him for his pain. Well, medical records say your Shaw went into a coma shortly after taking the morphine. A hospice nurse called 911 and reported an attempted suicide. Your Shaw died four days later. Mancini's attorney says she was just trying to relieve her father's pain. But prosecutors say she caused or assisted his suicide. And now she could face up to 10 years in prison if she is convicted. Uh, Richard, this case centers on the fact that Barbara Mancini handed her dad that morphine, didn't necessarily administer it, but because she handed it to him, she was an accomplice, so to speak. Well, that's the theory. But, you know, Fred, the fact that she gave him morphine because he was in pain, terminally ill patient, 93 years old and dying. Prosecutors have discretion whether to bring these cases or not. Mm. The only reason that he lived for four days, by the way, after they brought him back to life right. in the hospital, despite a non-resuscitation order. But the problem here is the corrupt coroner who must be investigated. This is a lunatic who is running for Congress in Pennsylvania no, on a right to life platform. And he, his toxicology report claims the cause of death was morphine. But we don't know, was it at the time he was, she entered the hospital? Was it the four that, days later when he the, died? The toxicology report is suspect, as is the coroner. The prosecutor should never have brought this mm. case. Thanks so much, Richard. Uh, Avery, always good to see you. Thanks so much. We have to short our time, shorten our time today because there's a whole lot going right. on. All right. Thanks make so it, much, gentlemen. Make it longer next week. Yeah. Okay. We'll work on yeah. that next right, weekend. Sure. All right. The legal guys are here every Saturday at about this time um, just to give us their take on the most intriguing legal cases of the day, week, month, you name it.